it's Ian from RTL here. Welcome to Pick and Mix. And this week we are taking a wander down the sidewalk, which means we're going to have a look at the a US top 10 on this day. And it is, this time it is 1972. So, in 1972, the 11th of January was actually a Tuesday. If it's your birthday today, I'd like to wish you a happy birthday. And it was a leap year in 1972. It's the Generation X. The Chinese zodiac sign was Year of the Pig. And if it is your birthday, you are a Capricorn. So, US President was the one and only Tricky Dicky Richard Nixon himself. Things happened on birthdays on this day. Not much happening. But we have got some birthdays. Um, 1942, the great Clarence Clemens was born. Obviously, with Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band, sadly passed away in 2011. 1946, Anthony John Selvage. Okay, who's he? We know him as Tony K. <laughs> yes. Keyboardist and... Born in Leicester, just up the road from me. 1958, guitarist Vicky Pint Peterson from uh, the Bangors was born in Los Angeles, California. 1971, American R&B singer-songwriter Mary J. Bilge was born. And in 1981, Tom Meehan, the British vocalist from the band Caspian, was born in Leicester as well. So two people from Leicester today have a birthday. So happy birthday to those folks. Not much happened in history. So we'll come concentrate on the music. So here is the top 10 for January the 11th, 1972 in the United States of America. So at number 10, it was up three places and it's a record called Clean Up Woman by Betty Wright. Now, this eventually got to number six on the billboard. Didn't get released in the UK. She did have one hit here in the UK, but not until 1975, and that was Shura Shura. Now, personally, I don't know much about this one, um, but when listening to it, I thought it was okay. Typical sort of early 70s American music. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, number nine, up one place for Donny Osmond. It was a double A side, Hey Girl and I Knew When. This wasn't released in the UK. Got to number four in the, on the billboard. No, it got to number four in Canada, but this is only where it peaked at number nine in America. Sorry about that, folks. Um, I'm not a great fan of Donny Osmond, I must admit. Um, hey Girl is a bit sickly for me. But uh, the other, the I knew when was a bit better, but it's just not my cup of tea. Okay, number eight. Down three places for Michael Jackson. Got to be there. Had reached number four, so it was on its way down the chart. Got to number five here in the UK and a top three in Canada. Even as Michael as a kid, it, it was a great song. I thought it was, was one of my favourite Michael Michael Jackson songs um, when he was in the early years. Okay, number seven, up one place for the New Seekers. I'd like to teach the world to sing. Big hit all over the world for them. Obviously it was number one in here in the UK and Ireland and New Zealand. And this is as far as it got in the American charts and same in Australia, number seven. It was nice to see the New Seekers doing well in America. Uh, it's a great song. It's a great anthem. I've spoke about it a lot. It gets keeps coming up on Richard and I videos. We both like this song a lot. Okay, number six, we have a non-mover. It's a track called Scorpio by Dennis Coffey and the Detroit Guitar Band. This 
um, as as far as it got in America. Never released here in the UK. I'd never heard this record until I listened to it a few weeks ago, and I quite like it. I like the guitar work in this. It's a really good song, and I love the bongos in it. Okay, five, down two places. Family Affair from Sly and the Family Stone. On its way down from number one in America. Only got to number 15 here in the UK. Love this song, classic from Sly and the Family Stone. Everybody loves this, one of the best funky records of 1972. Okay, number four this week. Up three places, Sunshine, Jonathan Edwards. This is where it peaked on the billboard. Number three in Canada, number 45 in Australia. But guess what? Never released here in the UK. It's another song that I hadn't heard much about. I'll listen to it. He's a very good singer and did some nice guitar work. And I quite like this song. I'm going to have a look, go down the rabbit hole and look at a few more bits by Jonathan Edwards. Okay, number three. Up one. Let's stay together, Al Green. On its way up to the top spot. Got to number seven here in the UK. It's a great song from Al Green. I love this song. It's one of the... He's great. What more can you say? Okay. Number two. Last week's number one. Brand New Key by Melanie. Um, it was released in 1971 and it... So he'd been hanging around a little while. Uh, got to number four here in the UK. Even managed number 23 in uh, Germany. Number one in Canada and New Zealand. I love this song. Um, it's a bit of a double entendre because it's nothing to do about roller skates and keys. It's about something else, of course. And then here in the UK, the Wurzels mullered it with a brand new combine harvester. <laughs> great little tune so there was a new number one this week and it was the first of four weeks on the top spot in america and it's the day that rock and roll died a song called american pie of course by don mclean big hit all over the world uh got to number one in australian calendar got to number two here in the uk it's an absolute brilliant song um it's just a song about the day rock and roll doll when we lost Buddy Holly, Holly, the Big Bopper, and Ricky Valance. And it's about a boy, a, the song's actually about a lad um, delivering the newspapers that day, and they had just a great, great song. Um, Madonna had a go at it and totally ruined it, but this is just a classic, classic song. So there we go. The top ten. On this day in America in 1972. Well that's all for today. On video side of things. But tonight we have got the live stream again. So we'll mention some of these people. In the hatches and matches and dispatches. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We've got a live album ranking. And we're going to go a bit of thrash metal tomorrow. We're going to look at the live albums. Of Megadeth. And also tomorrow. We've got a one off album. And it's called Storm Corrosion. Where it's when Mikel from uh, Opeth and Steve Wilson from Porcupine Tree got together to make this really strong album. So that's all coming tomorrow. I will see you tonight on the live stream. Bye for now.